morning family listen I think it was Les Brown that I heard say that the beggar and the billionaire have 24 hours in the day what are you going to do with yours well that goes for all of us I mean really I mean are you spending time trying to better yourself are you you know or are you bull junking around are you spending your time to increase your bank account or are you throwing money away? Are you spending time trying to get in better physical shape? Or are you out eating junk food and laying around? Are you spending time making your relationship better? Or are you spending time looking for a reason to argue about nothing? What are you spending your time with, family? Is it productive or is it destructive? I say you start spending more time and I said more time because I'm sure you spend some time doing the right thing. But spend more time being productive. It's things you want out of life and wishing for them ain't going to get it there. You know, you want a better place to live or you want to um, have a happier relationship. Well, you got to do something. You know what I mean? Okay. You, well, I asked God for it. I prayed for it. Okay. Well, good. So God's willing to do his part. You got to do something too. I mean, it's, it's God's will is not magic. You know, it's, you, you got to put some work in too. Well, I, I want to be in shape. Excuse me, man. Let me eat these cookies. Well, no, that's not how I work. Well, I asked God to get me in good shape. Yeah, but you can't eat cookies and cakes and pies and ice cream and ask God to get you in shape. You're not doing your part. Everybody has a part in this equation. You know, well, my house is a mess oh lord give me a, a beautiful house well it don't work that way you got to get the broom you know what i mean uh scripture says something like you know if you're not a good store over small he won't give you large so if you don't take care of this little house you got or this you know this not much then he won't give you a lot we got to do our part 24 hours in a day i mean there's think of it like this there's lots of self-made millionaires, first-generation millionaires. Well, they did some work. Most of them aren't lottery winners. Most of them got up in the morning and did something to get closer to the goals they wanted. Come on, man. All them cars went past, you can go past. See, me arguing with this car is not going to do me any good. So, here's the deal. Figure out what you want and use your time to get there. Because guess what? Playing PlayStation is not going to get you there. Unless you're trying to be a, the king of PlayStation or whatever that is. You know, you want something out of life? Go get it. Go get it. And, 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 and I know that sounds overly simple, but that's what it is. You got to go and get it. Stand up. You broke and don't have a job, you ain't gonna get no, close, no closer to being financially free if you're not doing anything. And here's the deal. Start with what you got. Don't tell me you wanna be in shape, but I can't afford a gym membership. Do you got sneaks? You got tennis shoes? Is there a street you can walk up? Is there a block you can walk around? If you walk down there where Mr. Johnson used to live and back, that's a that's a that's a mile. Start there. Uh, well, I want to be rich, but I only make seven dollars an hour. All right. Well, out of that seven dollars an hour, you have to figure out a way to save two of it. And you, know, you got to start somewhere. Start with what you got to get where you want to be. Do what you can until you can do better. All right. All right. Well, that was just on me this morning to talk about. So now you didn't hurt it. All right. Y'all have a great day. Happy, healthy, prosperous day. All right, y'all. I'll holler at you later. Peace.